92% of its mass comes from large, identifiable items, mostly fishing gear, buoys, crates, and hard plastic fragments. By sheer count, however, the overwhelming majority are microplastics, tiny pieces less than 5 millimeters across. Many are so small they resemble plankton, making them almost impossible for marine creatures to distinguish from food. Every year, millions of tons of plastic enter the ocean. About 80% originates from land-based sources, urban stormwater runoff, poorly managed landfills, littering, and mismanaged industrial waste. Major rivers act as conveyor belts, carrying discarded plastic from inland cities out to the sea. The remaining 20% comes from ocean-based sources, discarded fishing gear, cargo ship losses, and waste from offshore oil and gas platforms. Once these plastics enter the open ocean, the gyres pull them in, and escape is rare. Plastics are designed to last. Unlike organic material, they do not biodegrade naturally. Instead, they photodegrade, breaking into ever smaller pieces under sunlight and wave action, but never fully disappearing. The GPGP, therefore, is not shrinking on its own. It is getting denser. Impact on marine life. The GPGP is a deadly trap for countless species. Sea turtles mistake plastic bags for jellyfish and die from internal blockages. Seabirds, such as the Laysan albatross, feed colorful plastic fragments to their chicks, believing them to be fish eggs or squid. Fish and shellfish consume microplastics, which can block digestion and reduce reproduction rates. Ghost nets, abandoned fishing nets, ensnare dolphins, whales, seals, and sharks, often leading to slow and agonizing deaths. 